don't act Jewish. You don't look Jewish. Boy, I can't believe how generous you are for being a Jew. Is it true that all you Jews own the banks and run Hollywood? Be careful, you know, the Jews are taking over. Hi, fellow ADL New England board members. I'm Dan Romano. And those are actual words I've personally been subjected to over the years. Frighteningly so, these comments often appear innocuous until, that is, they take root in our society. Sadly, the last few months have only highlighted the urgent need for ADL's work in our communities. From the insurrection in Washington, D.C., to the anti-Semitism on display in Duxbury, to the seemingly daily assaults on the members of the Asia Pacific and Pacific Islander community, and these are only a few examples. ADL's leadership is needed now more than ever. In Rodgers and Hammerstein's Broadway musical, South Pacific, a leading character addresses prejudice and bigotry in the song, You've Got to Be Taught to Hate. The only way to fight hate and fear is through education, civil rights programs, public advocacy, community safety and training, and community outreach, only to name a few. ADL New England is engaged in all of these and more, but without financial support from each of us, our fight is diminished. Ultimately, as members of the regional board, we have a responsibility to equip ADL with the resources it needs to prevent and respond to incidences of anti-Semitism and hate. Our financial support is essential as it speaks volumes to outside supporters. It sets an example to potential donors everywhere. You see, people turn to ADL for support when faced with acts of anti-Semitism and hate crimes. And it is because of your support that ADL New England can have a meaningful impact in defeating hate. Please join me in stepping up and making your commitment today to our 2021 board campaign. It ends on April 23rd. Thank you very much for your participation in our New England 2021 board campaign. And thank you for all that you do for ADL. Hi, I'm Rebecca Miller and I am a co-chair for ADL New England's associate board and I made my gift to the ADL because of all of the important work that the organization does at a local and national level. This past year has been so difficult in so many ways across the globe and we have unfortunately seen so many incidents of hate that the ADL has worked day in and day out to make sure that we are addressing to make the world a more fair and just place. So I am thrilled to be able to give my gift this year to continue supporting the ADL going forward. It's an incredible organization to, to be a part of and I really hope that you do the same and you provide your support to continue the fight against hate and make the world a better place.